Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and this is my one month review with Windows 10. Hey guys, I'm back again with another video. Um, and so I want to give you my honest opinion about Windows 10. I'm running a Surface Pro 3 here. Uh, and I've been having Windows 10 for over a month now. And all my previous videos, and you can check them out. I did the first 24 hours with Windows 10 when I was having some real bad issues with it. And then I did the first three days with Windows 10. Check those two videos out. And now this is my one month review of Windows 10. Over the last month, I've received a lot of updates. Again, I'm running the Surface Pro 3. Okay, and this comes from Microsoft. So I've received a lot of updates here. I know a lot of people post a lot of comments saying that Windows 10 is unusable. They have people that have problems with Windows 10. A lot of people don't know how to work Windows 10. So let's talk about it today. Uh, let's go over some things about Windows 10. A lot of people uh, leave left a lot of comments about privacy. So let's, let's touch bases on that for a second. Right here, if you click on the Windows button here, and you go to your settings. And right here, guys, is privacy. These are some of the things you can turn off. Um, you can turn some of this stuff off just by going on and dragging it. And uh, right here, you can just drag it. Some of these things you can just turn off. Okay, so yeah, some of the things here you can turn off uh, in your privacy settings. Uh, you can turn off your camera stuff. Uh, if you do not want the camera to be used on these apps you can just turn them off uh, with the microphone you can always turn off your microphone right here and this was a, a big thing what a lot of people was mentioning about Microsoft Edge using the microphone on Microsoft Edge why uh, the voice recorder here and stuff like that so guys some of the things you could do this turn them off if you do have some issues with with privacy um, but in general, in general, the question remains, how is the performance of Windows 10? And again, I'm running the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. You have to understand that Microsoft made the Surface Pro 3. So a lot of the updates that I received is basically for the Surface Pro 3 and Windows 10. And the performance is, to me, is great. Uh, after I received a couple of updates, I didn't have any problems. Listen, I listened to all the people that post comments and number one comment that I've received a lot was, um, what should they do? I always recommend doing a factory reset, do a factory restore. Uh, and if again, if you go into your settings and stuff like this, you could do a recovery. Um, if you do a recovery, then it will fix all. Um, you could do a Windows update, check for updates, and you could do a backup and recovery right here. And if you run into any problems, any issues, you can always right here go back to Windows 8.1. You know, so that is an option, guys. If you think that uh, Windows 10 is not ready, and I understand it's a lot of problems, you can always go back to Windows 8.1. You wanna back up your system, get a external hard drive, guys, and you want to take all your photos, documents, pictures, and you wanna put those on the external hard drive. After you do that, then do a factory reset and download all the Microsoft updates, get everything updated uh, from Microsoft, and you will be fine. Make sure you run an authentic copy of Windows. Now, that's a lot of things a lot of people don't understand. If you wasn't running an authentic copy of Windows in the beginning, then yes, you're gonna have problems with Windows 10. If you was not running an authentic copy of Windows 7, and you try to go to Windows 10, yes, you will have problems. Um, and a lot of people was having this issue, and I talked about this in my last video, guys. Yes, guys, so a lot of people was running into this problem. If you have a tablet hybrid with the keyboard, and you go into tablet mode, 
you know, you, you run into some problems. A lot of people get really confused about tablet mode. Um, and you get into the Metro style tiles. They made it a little different, guys. Um, you know, so just kind of bear that in mind. Now, as far as Cortana, yeah, you know, she's really not working too well. Again, I've done this several times and I gave up on this part, but I don't use Cortana at all. So, kind of leave that alone. But uh, we also have the multitask screen. Um, I don't have any apps open right now. But, and the battery life is pretty good. I don't have any problems with the battery life. Um, it works out real good. So, you know, guys, my experience with the Surface Pro 3, i5, with Windows 10 is... I want to give it an 80% stability. Uh, I do still run into performance issues, and I expect that with an i5, and I'm running uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, you know, try to edit videos and stuff like that. Yeah, I run into problems. I mean, Adobe Premiere Pro is a really, really uh, intensive program that put a lot of strain on your GPU and your CPU, and so, yeah, it does a little stuttering when I'm editing videos. I, I, you know, the Surface Pro is a great uh, computer, great machine, but uh, when you're doing some intensive edit, video editing and stuff like that, yeah, I, I, I would definitely go for a more powerful computer, something with an i7, something with a lot more RAM, uh, something with um, a lot more power in it, uh, a lot of GPU power and stuff like that if you're going to run that type of system but as far as everyday use guys I, I'm not running into some of the problems you guys are running into um, definitely not uh, what what you know a lot of commenters says and again this is the Surface Pro 3 I am using a uh, MacBook uh, and I'm going to use uh, put Windows 10 on my Mac and see uh, if I was, if I run into any issues like that with my Mac but uh, as of today, August 24, 2015, I, I think this, this the operating system is pretty stable. Uh, we still, Microsoft still have a long way to go. I know you guys was having some problems uh, with, with Microsoft and everything. And, you know, I'm here to help. If you do have any problems, um, you know, you can always revert back to Windows 8.1, you could always go and, you know, factory reset your PC. Remember, back up all your stuff and then uh, factory reset everything and you'll be fine. Once again, guys, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. If you do have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Um, I'm quite sure I'm going to get a lot of them. Um, thank you very much. See you on the next video, guys. Peace.